being himself on the floor, he was not talking to anybody, neither was he even eating. So the customer was like, okay, no problem. So if you so much desire this, then go pay for go pay for uh, my practice. So they passed it. Posting came out and it was posted to a particular state. And while it was posted to that state, he entered the bus on his way to on his way to that place where he was posted. His boss had an accident. Every other person in the bus injured, but he himself died. Now, the news got to school, and this his friend started crying. And the friend made know that this guy wouldn't have gone for the NYC. God gave him the carryover to delay him from going to NYC that year. But he pushed himself. Sometimes we try as much as possible to push ourselves. We want to help God. Now note, you cannot help God in any situation. What God does not want to do should be left undone. He knows his reason. He has his reason for it. Let's learn the... the let's have a, an habit of trusting God. If you need money to pay your rents, and God is not bringing the money to pay your rents, forget about the embarrassment that your landlord will be giving to you don't go and steal to get this money don't go to dubious means to get this money because you may just be so surprised that that very money your landlady will be coming to your apartment to embarrass you while it's busy shouting on you someone would be walking past saw the way your landlady was talking to you and this person may just give you an opportunity to a better place whereby you can make money on a daily basis may just give you a job opportunity why because he or she does not like the way your landlady was talking to you but if you had not calmly sit down and watch god unfold what he has for you you may just go steal go borrow go do some certain things just to get this issue cleared up sorry i use the word borrow many times you may need there may be need for you to borrow but sometimes we should also learn when to because God sometimes he works in a mysterious way did I just say sometimes all times it just it comes out when you least expect him to but the fact is we always want to say we need it now 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 is the time now is the time but you see God's time is always different from our time so what I'm trying to say in essence is why you are living your life also know that there's someone somewhere that was planted side by side with you to pull you down to get you down not all gifts are of the lord just the way the lord can cause men to favor you so also the enemy can bring in bad favor favor that will cause you that will cause you pain once upon a time there was a pastor who took gift from um, a man and he was celebrating it was a car little did he know that it was a stolen car and that damaged his image see many a times we should also know that where there's a wheat there's a weed where there's a wheat there's a weed we should always know how to differentiate between the weeds and the weed. And the only thing we'll be able to do this, the only way we'll be able to do this is to walk in the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, which is the, 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 the guidance of the Holy Spirit. We need the guidance of the Holy Spirit on and on. It's important for us. Men and brethren, please, from time to time, let us let us learn to 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 hack into his voice at, at every given point in time everything we do in life it's important now take about take a look at this part when the the the, the, the farmer said let us uproot these weeds and the master said no if you uproot the weed it will affect the weeds many at times these weeds are your family members many at times these weeds 
are your classmates they are close relatives and god knows very well sometimes some person says why can't god just stop evil why can't he just destroy all the bad people if you do this it will affect you there are some close persons of yours that if the lord is to destroy the enemy of another person that your uncle will go down for it that your auntie that person close to you will go down for it it may not be showing you the evil he's doing because you're a close person there but he may be doing the evil to someone else so if the lord should bring down all the weeds it will affect some of his own I hope you understand what I'm trying to say now. Because there have been cases of terrible witches giving birth to sons who later became pastors. So if they are taking off, if the Lord is pulling off all the witches, that son of us who is a pastor may just be affected emotionally. Hope you understand what I'm trying to say now. So we, God himself knows this and he said let us allow the weeds to grow with the weeds now this is because he does not want the weed the weeds which are his home to be affected and he allowed them to grow and he said i will tear i will tear the the investors i will tell the investors to cut them down and to select this is the end time that is when the lord shall come they would select the lord will select those that are his those that belong to him he will select the weeds off are you god's weeds or god's weed are you standing against the commandment of our lord jesus christ if they should put you on a scale which would you go into the weeds or the weed the one that has value for the Lord or the one that does not. Please let us try as much as possible to change our ways. Let us walk our salvation with fear and with tremble. Please let us walk our salvation with fear and with tremble. Amen. Now the other part said, the kingdom of God is like is like a mustard seed that is being planted in the feed, though it's the smallest, but uh, later it grows to become the, the largest of garden plants. Now, in other words, what, what, what the scripture was trying to say here is that the word of the Lord is like mustard seed. It's been spoken to you. It's been preached to you. Oh, it's small. It enters into your heart. Now, if you allow it to eat fruits, if you allow it to yield fruit, it would yield a kind of fruit that would produce great wonders in your life. It was small when it comes to you. Check it out. All the great men of God, when you ask them, it was it was one word or the other spoken by another minister or that they read from the scripture that turned their life around. That turns their life around. You hear Oedipo talking about the the vision, the long vision he had, and that vision, that very word, as at then turned his world around, and now his life is now, though like mustard seed as at then, now his life is so large like the plants like the largest of the garden plants that has branches now you say birds would now come to build nests on these branches this is to say that when you receive this word it comes small tiny little but if you allow it to germinate and 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 yield fruits in your heart your heart being the being a, a soil a fertile soil that would accept this fruit, that would accept this seed, this monster seed, it will not bring fruit. You will begin to talk to people, teach people, preach to them, bear witness in your character, in your behavior, in the way you speak, in your place of work, in your business. 
then in other words this seed will not eat fruits that will not bless lives around around you it will bless lives and people will begin to change and your life will go a long way to motivate men and women to change they will change from their evil ways now automatically what has happened is your life is now like a tree with branches that it's eating fruits and birds are now coming to build nests around it that men and women that wouldn't have been saved if that the Oedipo was not saved if he had not accepted the call that men and women that wouldn't have been saved if Dr. Jiko Lukoya of the Mountain of Fire Ministry was not saved they were lives tied to their own life brethren do you know that as you are now their lives tied to you you are someone's prayer points someone has been praying lord send me my helper you are someone's helper just the way you have been praying for someone to come and help you are you ready to help someone it may not really be money it may not really be finance or it may just be the word of the lord sent to them just like i i received a little word from the lord that i should do an audio devotional podcast that will be blessing lives for long i hid i didn't hear to it and finally i headed to it on the 26th of december i started the podcast and now it's going god has been taking all the glory and i return all the glory to him i will not take or ascribe any to myself all the glory belongs to him so he's blessing lives in the way he wants to bless i may be speaking one thing here and christ is going and ahead of me to interpret god is going ahead of me to interpret his word to to his people in the best way, in the best way he can interpret it to them I'm sorry that that was a glitch I'm sorry that was a glitch so I may be speaking one word here and God will be going ahead of me to interpret the word to you in the best way that will suit your spirit man so I will be speaking one thing and you're, you're, you're understanding it in another point of view. That is God. He's going ahead. He's building, uh, he's building branches via the world that is coming forth. Now, I urge every one of us to be like this mustard seed. Whatsoever is the seed the word the revelation the 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 assignment that god has given to us we should carry it out so that it will grow it will become a tree a big tree that has branches that birds would now come to build their nests that men and women will come to seek refuge to take comfort in please let's carry out this assignment that god has given to us let us pray gracious king we say thank you for your love for your word that has come for today lord we ask oh lord for the grace and for the strength and the enablements for us to carry out these wonderful assignments that you have given to us that has entered into our life in form of a seed. Help us to, to cultivate it. Help us to, 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 tender, to, to, to tender it so that it will not die in our hand. To take good care of it so it will grow and will eat fruit. It will bring forth branches that, will, that men and women will come and build nests and draw, draw, draw comfort from in the name of Jesus. 
we also ask that you 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 give us the the enablement for us to be with good and powerful crop